morning. I'm Tracy Falken from Lush Fabrics with your release for this week. Nine new fabrics, uh, a few different fabric bases for you, some nice prints, some that you've seen before, some that you haven't. Let's jump in and have a look. The first one I have today is a ghost crepe. Now ghost crepe is a woven fabric and it is a polyester fabric. It's 96% poly and 4% spandex. Um, but it has the loveliest drape and it is beautiful to wear, even in warm weather. So let me show you the texture. So there we go. Can you see it on the top there? It does have that crepey texture to it. See it a bit better like that? Let me see if I can close the gap between the layers there. So you can see that texture. Um, it is likely to be a little bit sheer if you were going to make a dress or something like that. Um, I think as the light shines on you, you might see through it a little bit. You might need a little slip. I think it's worth trying um, and making it without a lining because that would be a whole lot cooler in summer. Uh, and if you do need something under, then just grab a little a skirt style slip. I think for a top you wouldn't need anything. For pants you probably wouldn't need anything. It's more about dresses and skirts that you might need to think about whether you need a little bit of extra coverage there. But this print is really sweet. This one's called Calming in Black. It's really cute. It has really great drape. So amazing for um, the latest pattern emporium patterns that there are, the cami and the pants. It would be beautiful for that. It does have quite good bias stretch there um, but being a woven doesn't have any other stretch it is 150 centimeters wide which is a great width it does have a bit of the white on this end not on this end um, so you know you might want to take that down to say 140 centimeters for the width just to allow for that uh, 125 GSM for this one so Dress myself there. There we go. 4,000 is the thread that we're putting with this one. Oops, it just wants to fall off. There we go. And ivory double brush poly is the coordinate that we have, but because it's basically black and white, it's going to look great with so many colours. So that is Calming in Black Ghost Crepe. Right, the next one, you've seen the print of this one before too. We're just going a different colourway. This is Shooting Star in Ivory. It's a rib knit. It's so soft and gorgeous. I wish I could wear this colour because I would definitely sew something up in it, but I just can't. Perhaps if I did black bands, it might save me a little bit, being able to wear it. It's lovely and soft. And did you see the rib texture there? So it's a very thin rib. You can see that just there. Beautiful and soft, great stretch, both ways, really nice drape. So I know I have multiple dresses in this fabric because it has very fast become my favourite fabric base. I've got a couple of tops as well, you name it. So this one we've gone with the ivory double brush poly again as a coordinate but again it's basically black and white, you can put all sorts of colours with it. And thread number 1000 matches this one. So shooting star in ivory rib knit. Gorgeous. All right, next I have a rayon spandex for you, which is beautiful for summer. It's a lovely animal print. This one's called Runaway. Let's open that up for you. Isn't it beautiful? Just gorgeous. So Rayon spandex is 97% rayon, 3% spandex. So it's a lovely naturalish fibre um, to wear in summer. And I love rayon spandex in summer. I tend to just make tops. I do have one dress made out of rayon spandex and I was able to use the clear elastic in the shoulder seams and the waist seam of that one. So it holds up really well. Um, but do be careful of the weight in your garment using rayon spandex because it does grow and get a bit bigger in the day. 
So if you can keep it not too heavy, like a t-shirt, or if you are going to make a dress, if you can reinforce it with some clear elastic in some horizontal seams, and that'll keep it going a bit stronger. So amazing stretch both ways and beautiful drape. Lovely and cool to wear. It's 165 GSM, so it's really nice and light um, and just perfect for a really hot day. So this one we have put with thread number 1172 and we have matched it with the mustard double brush poly and camel double brush poly and cream soft punchy. This makes such a beautiful outfit. It's really nice pants or a skirt and the cream soft punchy. And a nice elegant shirt in this. Oh, it'd be beautiful. I say shirt, I mean top. Not actually a, a button up shirt. Gorgeous. So, runaway rayon spandex. Next one is what I am wearing. Uh, it is a double brush poly and it's called Evermore. And this is fast becoming my favourite pattern for summer. So it's just, it's a little bit of a mash, which I'm not much of a masher, but it is a little bit of a mash. It's the Every Me Dress by Pattern Emporium. And I've used the Entice Me Wide Sleeve, and I think it's the Entice Me Crew Neck that I've got as well. That I can show you. So it's quite short at the front, but... So I don't mind it being a little bit shorter at the front. I just worry about when I need to bend down to pick something up and that sort of thing. And if I forget how short my skirt is, I really like that extra length at the back. Um, and that's where I need a bit more coverage, I think, is there. So I really like it. And I've already worn this a few times um, because I like it so much. And I think... When I did wear it, it was about 33, 34 degrees and I was outside, so I was just drinking some nibbles at a friend's place mid-afternoon, um, outside, and I was perfectly comfortable because it's not too tight, because it's got some room and there is space for some airflow. It worked really well, even in the double brush poly, which I know people are a bit scared of for the hot weather. And... I'm there with you. There are plenty of garments that I wouldn't wear in brush poly in really hot weather. But this works really well, this style, just because you can get a little bit of air flow coming through and it just kept it really nice and cool. Okay, so here is the piece of fabric. So double brush poly is brushed on both sides and in my opinion it's the brushing that makes it warm, not the poly. So I think a lot of people are a bit scared of polys because they think they feel horrible or they think they're really hot. The way that they're made now, I don't believe that that is the case. I mean, everybody is different and we all are all comfortable in different things. But I don't believe that something just being poly now equals hot. Um, I think this fabric can become warm because of the brushing. So the brushing on it. I believe is what makes it warm. It traps that hot air in, it makes it difficult to get out. So do give it a go. If, if you're holding back on using brushed poly because you think it's hot, maybe you grab a meter and just make yourself a t-shirt or something like that so it's not a really big expense and just see how it works for you. Um, see if it is something that's going to be hot. You know, if you're comfortable wearing sleeveless, in summer, sleeveless in brush poly is amazing because it really does help to keep you cool. You don't want fabric bunching up under your arms and that sort of thing, really in any fabric base. But if you're not comfortable with sleeveless, put some little sleeves on and just see how you go. You just never know. So the stretch is great. So we have a heap of double brush poly because it has such great stretch, it has such great drape, which makes it really good for a fitted garment or a flowy garment. It doesn't get bigger on you during the day and it comes in the most amazing prints. They're just beautiful. So we have a really good range of brush poly just because we find the prints so irresistible. And yellow is definitely not my colour, but I think black is. So I think with there being so much black on this, I'm able to get away with a little bit of yellow. 
Okay, so thread number 4,000, just the good old black, where are we, for this one. And then you can match it up with olive, double brush poly, or mustard, double brush poly, really nice. Uh, what else worked? Burnt orange, so there are some orangey bits in there. Uh, yellow, rayon modal. And off-white modal is another one. Obviously, black would look amazing with it too. Um, I really like it. I think it's very sweet. Okay, next. Another double brush poly. And this one is called Inspired in Mint. Very, very cute. It's a beautiful little colour. And a really sweet print. So we've got Inspired in Denim as well which is really cute. So this is coming up a lot lighter in colour on the screen right now than it actually is. I just want to show you the sweet little print that's there and it's a much truer colour back here. So again, it's beautiful and soft. Nice stretch. Nice drape. So double brush poly is often the white colour on the background, so do keep that in mind. Um, because it might be important depending on what you make. If you want to make something where you're likely to see the inside, that's something you're going to need to know. Sometimes it's worth it. Depends on the garment, I think. So ivory double brush poly we put with this one. And unfortunately I didn't have a coordinating thread, which is a real shame. It's a very sweet colour and a very sweet print. Okay, now we have a, another tie-dye for you. This one is called Wonderstruck, and hold it up so you can see it. It's kind of pretty. So there's like corally colours and blues, a bit of ivory in there, and a mishmash of both of those colours together. So the tie dyes are true tie dyes. So they are they have the colour on the wrong side and the right side. So this is a great fabric to use if you're likely to see the wrong side of your garment. Great stretch. Both ways. Nice drape, of course. Didn't do a match again. It's kind of, I think this sort of fabric, you really need to see where your hem is and then work out what colour thread you're going to use because you're going to go across a few different colours there. I mean, you might just want to go with and ivory because you're never going to be able to match the whole way along but I'm going to leave that to you I haven't actually picked a thread for this one because it felt a bit tricky okay chambray double brush poly looks really nice with this and white this is a double brush poly but we have white in so many different bases so it doesn't have to be double brush poly cupid no Watermelon, cotton spandex. Uh, it goes with those ones down there a bit more, I think. It does actually look a little bit better in person than it does on print. It looks like it matches a bit better. All of these are pictured on our website, so you can see what they are. Um, and we do have links to the coordinates. And we always put the photos in the same order as we list those coordinates, so you can work out which one's which. So watermelon, cotton spandex. Tangerine. Double brush poly. And this one must be Cupid. Rayon modal. And Pacific blue cotton spandex, which is really nice. You know, it just brings out the blues as soon as you've got a blue coordinate here. So say the corally wasn't your colour, then if you were to wear it with some blue, that's what's really going to pop. And then if you put one of these colours with it, it's that colour that really stands out, I believe. Okay, Wonderstruck double brush poly. Okay, last brush poly for today. You've seen this print before. This one is Leopard Tails. And this is a really tricky colour, background colour to define. I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. It's not olive and it's not grey. So we've called this one Leopard Tails in olive grey. Uh, just because it's really hard to name this colour. And I don't want to be deceptive and call it olive or call it grey because it's really neither of those things but a combination of the two. So I'm hoping that that is descriptive enough. 
um, that you're going to have an idea of what you're going to get with this one. Obviously you can see the colour here um, and it's super pretty. I really love it and I really like this print. And I love the, you know, it's just the olive grey with the black. It's quite striking. All right, beautiful stretch, of course. Being double brush poly, both ways. Great drape. I didn't have a thread to match this one. And I've only got the one coordinate, and that's Light Sage Double Brush Poly, which is really, it's not exactly the same, but it's quite close. And black would obviously look amazing with this. You could always just use a black thread as well if you wanted to. Or you might just want to match that olive grey background colour. Okay, leopard tails in olive grey. I've only got two left now. This one is another new eyelet. This is lilac eyelet. So we do actually have some... Sorry, I'm just looking behind me to see if I can find it. Um, I can't see it, but I'm sure we've got some lavender... Broderie on glaze, which is going to be very similar to this, but not quite the same. So this is the print. It's not really a print um, pattern. Embellishments. I'll get there. This is what the um, eyelet looks like. It's not quite as slinky feeling as the Broderie on glaze. They are both DTY, so they're both the same base. They're 96% poly, 4% spandex, 190 GSM. But the design... Design, maybe? Design of the little holes um, is different. So this is the lilac ITY, DTY eyelet. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, we'll move on from this one in a minute. Great stretch. Bit of give vertically. Lovely drape. I do have a matching thread, but I don't have any coordinating fabric for this one. So 3040 is the thread that we put with it. Lilac eyelet. I'm just going to move on from that one before I trip over more words. And now I have the Lush Sunday special to show you. It's a DTY again this week. Um, I do love my DTYs. They are really nice to wear for summer. They are a poly knit without any brushing. So I think that they're really lovely to wear. This one is called Handle It With Care. It's very sweet print. It's got a lot of really nice colours in there. So it's one of those that are really nice to perhaps make a skirt or a pair of pants or a pair of shorts or something like that and then get a few of the coordinates that go with it for some T-shirts so that you've got a few matching garments. Or the other way around. This could be a top and you could do some solid coloured skirts, pants, shorts, you name it. So it's got some nice stretch horizontally, fit vertically, and there's your drape. So thread number 1000 for this one. And we have matched this with tangerine, double brush poly, sienna, double brush poly, Sapphire, cotton spandex, which is really pretty. Um, mellow yellow, like that. Light sage. And off-white modal, matching with that background. Or ivory double brush poly, whichever base you would prefer. And these flowers have actually got some black in them there, so black would look amazing as well. So this is your Lush Sunday Special, which, which means um, it is a little bit cheaper just for today, just for Sunday. So we do this if you're new to Lush um, and you're not sure what you're going to get. We try and give you one fabric each week, which is a little bit cheaper and makes it a bit easier to dive in and give it a go. Uh, or if you're wanting to try DTY, uh, and you have it before, it's a bit easier to do that. Or if you've already tried DTY and you've already tried Lush and you love the print, it's just an added bonus. So Handle With Care is your Lush Sunday special for today. All right, that is all of them. I hope you like.
I hope you're surviving the school holidays. If you have kids at home, I am on the countdown to the end, I have to say. Um, but we will we'll get there. Okay, so don't forget our competitions on Facebook, in our page and our group. And I will be back next week with some more goodies for you. I hope you like these ones. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week. Bye.